morning. It's Tuesday morning and it's quarter to 11. Chrissy and I have parked in the city. We are just going to go get a coffee and we're going to go down there to the end of the street where the park is, city park, to see the Japanese monkeys. <sighs> All harder to find a spot than I thought this morning. Yeah, so anyway, we are off to get a coffee from Amelia Coffee Co, which I've had before. It's very nice. And my first cousin's name is Amelia, so there you go. And my office is on this street too, so it's like the nearest good coffee shop. Yep. Yeah. And anyway, we'll get our coffee. Coffee. We'll reconvene and then we're going to go to what's it called? Oh, Adams boy. Distillery. Oh, Adams, maybe. Yeah. Might be Adams Distillery before we go to the airport. To farewell, Christy. Oh, um, it and it's what is it at the moment? It's 20 degrees, so it's not cold, but nice. it's not warm. And there's some not more pretty roses. Oh. Look at them all. Yeah, lots of roses. Uh, just going over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bought the ritual coffee, which is roasted in Launceston. This is the blend that the cafe have. It's their own blend. Ruin my video with your bloody loud engine, thank you very much. Good. You can't see it through the trees, Albert Hall. Park Radio Museum. Oh. Wow. I don't think I've ever been in here before. Oh, look, there's a little train. Oh, she did say that. Oh, yes, she did. Look at that now. The boys would love that. Thank you, business. That's Look at the door. Oh, it's here.
So tiny, that little baby. Would you mean bugs like as in like as in like fleas or no, 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 no. So um the misconception of grooming is that they're picking out fleas and things like that. So um hygiene and cleaning is actually probably the the lowest of why they do grooming. Uh, so it's like a bonding, um they could do it for many reasons. Political to build up in the hierarchy. Um, to say sorry, um, to forgive, or just to um, show affection as well, um, and build up, um, yeah, close close friendships. Social, social. Yeah, just the social hierarchy. Oh, I've got it now. No, no, not not with them. So first, well, oh, for many reasons. So first of all, there's well, now 23 in there. So 23. You're going to be able to say, please, what's that? No matter what species it is, you'd be stupid to. Um, they are classified as a moderately aggressive species. Um, so think of chimpanzees. Yeah, yeah. Not chimpanzees. At um, least they're not throwing poo at us. <laughs> so all species of macaques are assumed to carry the herpes B virus, yeah. um, which is transmissible to us as well. So um, little two-day-old boo boo. Yeah. So, oh, there's a bin over here. I need that. And then I wonder what that is there. It's a lovely park. So, what did she say? This was the first facility in Tasmania, Australia, yeah. to have primates back in the 1800s. And they were, what did she call them? They were a macaque, but they weren't the breed that's in there now. Yeah. And then the 1980s, 1980s, they got yeah. the current ones. I wasn't filming. Oh, here comes the train. I wasn't filming when she was talking to us about. She's the sole keeper. She's been there four months. Um, but she's like been a zookeeper for 16 years. And she, it's all, her job is to just look after them. Hello. Um, yeah. And they've got a ca cameras at night, and that little baby was two days old. And there's another one, the second smallest was a year old. Uh, yeah, they used to have wallaby in a wallaby enclosure at the other end with the ducks, and they used to have Tassie tigers, thylacines, back in the day. So there you go, another little touristy bit of fun for you Christy before you go yeah, now we're gonna go to the toilet <laughs> so there's an interesting duck pond oh look duckies hello very weird they must have had different fish in each section and then that giant tree with all those knots in it ah my goodness and then there's a a bit up that way and a chessboard here. That train is three dollars fifty per person. Love this chessboard. Row would come and play on that with Huxley, I reckon, or the boys. Look at that old um, rotundary thing. That's lovely in here, isn't it? This is the station. <laughs> toot toot. So that's the John Hart Conservatory. Wow. Oh, there's a, some school kids. A bit of a hill. It's a bandstand over there. Wow.
smells nice. Oh, honey. Yay. Yeah. Um, so, all around. Yeah. So, we manage our own lives. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're all around, yeah. the, all around the state because things like the leather would are down the southwest. But I love this one. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Save your level. Cute. Oh, look, there's a. Dazzy Doris info. Oh, I love that too. Parts of the beehive. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good Thank afternoon. You so Thank you. Thank you. Just going into Longford Hill Street Grocer, which is a fancy grocery IGA, before we go to the airport. Getting some lunch in Longford. Lunch in Longford. Oh. Time has come. Filthy my car is. Just at the aerodrome. Oh, the aerodrome. The drone. We had lunch at Banjo's, which is a Tassie bakery. A little bit like Baker's Delight or Brumby's. And now we're at the airport to drop this one off. It's a very warm day. It's like 23. I don't know why I've still got a jumper on. It's like 23. Some Tassie Hearts water. Mm. We'll drop Christy off, say goodbye, drop her off, and return to normal activities. <laughs> Life. <laughs> oh. oh, it's hot in here. Uh, yes, we're back where we started the vlog. So, got some random, like, massive blind pimples popping up out of nowhere. It's annoying. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll sign off here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Oh my god, I've got to open this. It's so hot. Oh, it's, it's really hot. I have a red car, and I feel like when I had a black car, it wasn't as hot as this, like in the sun. Anyway, so. We should just take off my jumper. Be a good idea. Some goodies, actually. I'll show you what I got today. So I bought some coffee from the Amelia Cafe. They use Ritual coffee roasters, which is in Launceston, and they have their own blend. So I bought their blend for my machine at home. I also bought some quince jelly from Hill Street Grocer. You don't see this one often. So I got this. I got some Christmas puddings too and in the honey place I got Christmas bush honey which was so nice and it's in this lovely tin. This honey is actually made or bottled in um, Perth which is where we the store we went to so I didn't know that anyway and then I got one of their fancier varieties which is fennel. Honey eater fennel. This is really nice it's got like cinnamon it's weird they don't put the tasting notes on this, but they put it on the tasting. Anyway, um, yeah, it's cinnamon, gingerbread. It's very unusual and very nice, runny, because they hand pour these ones. Anyway, and then I also got a little acacia wood spoon for my salt pig that I've got, which has no salt in it at the moment, but I will put salt in it. Yes, what was I saying? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like or a thumbs up. I just, I'm vlogging about living in Launceston, life in Tasmania. And I have only recently just moved here like a week ago, literally. So 
Uh, this weekend was a bit of touristy stuff that I've done, but mostly for Christy's benefit. And yes, give me any, any suggestions you have. Please put them in the comments below. Any questions you've got, any content you want about Tassie or Launceston living here. If I've got any links, I'll put them in the description as well if I can find them for that, for if you want to pick up anything that I have mentioned, if possible. Anything I've mentioned, I'll put the links below anyway. And what else? Getting really hot. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.